Today I'm going to show you a really simple trick that will allow you to quickly find the center line of a piece of round stock uh, that's clamped in a mill vise. Quite a few years ago an old school machinist showed me this trick uh, that allowed me to find the approximate center line of a piece of stock like the one you see here. Now of course when you're doing machine work on anything uh, an approximate center line doesn't really help you. You need to know the exact center line. Uh, so what is the point of showing you a technique that shows you the approximate center line? The value of this technique is that it gets you so close to the center line of the part that it greatly reduces the amount of time needed to use the indicator. Now there's only a couple things you're going to need to do this. One is a pointed object, uh, preferably a, a precision ground object like a small center drill or a tap like this one that has a pointed end on it. Uh, you'll need that and you'll also need a six inch scale. Now it needs to be a thin type of scale, not a, not a thick uh, material one. This is a flexible scale here so it's a thinner material. And it also has to be in relatively good shape. If it's all bent up and nasty, it's not going to make this any easier. I mean, you can try to straighten it out and still use it, but if you have one that's in good shape, it will work better for you. So what you do is you put the point, of course, here in the, in the chuck. And it doesn't matter what position this rod's in, in relationship to the spindle. You can move it out of place, it doesn't matter. And you put the scale down like this, approximately in the middle and put light pressure on the spindle so it shows you the offset by giving you a larger angle and the more you move down the greater that angle increases now you don't want to use a whole lot of spindle pressure here just light pressure and move it back up and see how the angle moves to the other side so what you do is you get this toward the center and you basically just eyeball it and what you do here is you just look down the rod like this and you just try to you try to get this scale as horizontal as possible by eyeball. That looks pretty close right there. Uh, so that's fairly close to center. So we're going to double check it now, and I'm going to set my zero on my um, on my digital readout and put the indicator in here and see what it comes out to. So I have to find my high spot here and my low spot. You find your high spot in the vertical axis by moving it up and down. Put a zero there and then you rotate the spindle and find a low spot and then you re-zero it. Now you go to the other side. Okay. What I'm showing here is I'm showing two thousandths. <clears throat> I'm going to show you here real quickly. It's on zero on that side. And this side here. you can see it's two thousandths under. That means that using that technique I got this center line within, oh that's two thousandths total but it means it's a thousandths per side off. That means that using this technique with that scale I was able to get within a thousandths of the center line of this rod. So that's how well this works and but not only is it fairly accurate but it also allowed me to decrease the amount of time I used in indicating in a rod like this where I, I might have been messing around with it for five minutes probably not but at least a few minutes uh, trying to find a center line in this way you can quickly get almost to the center line and just use your indicator to finish it up uh, so I hope you guys find that valuable uh, I certainly did when he showed me that many years ago and it's something that should save you a lot of time for years to come
Okay, guys, give it a thumbs up if you would please, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be seeing you next video.